Hi friends, now we are in Shenzhen and accompanied by the managers of the company GLCPCB and my childhood friend, an armed with personal interpreter with whom in fact we flew to China, we are heading to one of the factories of the company GLC. GLC company is one of the largest in China. It is engaged in the production of printed circuit boards, mainly for electronics manufacturers. But the company works with private individuals, such as you and I. Just send the drawing of the PCB you need and basically all. After a while, you get it ready. Industrial boards in any quantity manufactured at the highest level. The company currently has two factories. Another one is likely to be launched this fall. The main mega project is located outside the city of Shenzhen. This factory employs about 1,500 workers, but we will talk about it in the next video, so do not miss it. The GLC office is located right in the center of Shenzhen, on the very last floor of this beautiful building. If you ever go to Shenzhen, definitely visit it. It offers a stunning view. There are more than 150 people working here, mainly customer service managers, order picking unit, engineers, developers, and programmers of higher qualification. But let's go back to the factory, where there are working about 300 workers. On the first floor of the building, they are engaged in documentations. On the second floor, they are sorting and packing. The production process itself begins on the third floor, and our tour starts with production. But it is not printed circuit boards yet, all starts from stencils. The process of creating printed boards with all stages of production we will consider in detail in the second video, during the tour of the main mega factory. The smaller factory is engaged in the production of metal stencils for surface mounting. You will ask, what is it and why is it necessary? If you create only one or two printed circuit boards for you at home, then you don't need such a stencil. But if it comes to a small scale production, then you can't deal without them. A thin layer of solder paste is applied to the bare copper spots where the component will solder. Then the stencil is removed and the components are inserted. The board is completely heated, for example by an infrared soldering station, and all components are sealed at once. This process is indispensable when it comes to industrial production. At the moment, there are two main ways of making such stencils, chemical etching and laser cutting. The latter method is more precise, but machine tools aren't cheap. Everybody can order the stencil in any quantity, and you don't care about the complexity and shape of the contact pads. The laser cutter with computer numerical control can make entirely everything but about them a little later. There are two production workshops here. The third one is engaged in sorting, quality control and packing. In the first stage, a sheet of metal, which in the future will become a stencil, is processed, cleaned and placed in a frame. Very great attention is given to this primary stage. The workers manually align and polish the surface of the sheet almost to a mirror state. All burrs are removed. Then the sheet is placed in a metal frame. First they fix the frame with a plain paper tape and then additionally with a substance like a sealant.
Then all the framed sheets receive their unique number and are fixed in the database. And the semi-finished products go to the powerful laser cutters with computer numerical control. There are few machines here, but they are high speed, high precision and naturally very expensive. After installing the semi-finished product, the operator only needs to enter the coordinates. The rest will be made by the machine. We stayed for a long time on this area of manufacturing. The spectacle is amazing and fantastic. In the next workspace, there is a final quality control under good lighting. In the case of slightest defect, the stencil is rejected. Everything should be perfect. If the quality control is passed, the stencil is glued with a polyethylene to protect it from dust and moisture and packed in a proprietary box to be sent to the customer. Here are samples of ready-made stencils. I think it is clear without any words that the quality of cutting is ideal, regardless of the size of the spot. According to the engineers, the machines can cut out the spots for installing the smallest SMD components, so this factory can produce stencils of absolutely any complexity. In this manufacturing, I had a question related to the automation of processes. And it was kindly explained that manual labor has a lot of advantages. It is profitable for the company and provides employment for the population. In the production workspace is an ideal cleanness with a powerful ventilation system and fire extinguishing systems. Workers aren't distracted by any matters not related to their basic work. They even almost don't talk with each other. I noticed this also in the main factory, where there are much more workers. In general, the impressions and emotions are only positive. Everyone knows his or her business and everyone is doing their best. Friends, I will remind you that exactly in a week there will be a video about the main factory for the production of printed circuit boards, where we will walk through all the production workshops, of course except of the most dangerous ones. So sign up. Click on the bell to stay informed. Now I say goodbye. Until new meetings, with you as always was Kassian TV.